It's not often that a video game has me question the reality that I live in. While I prefer the ignorance is bliss approach when it comes to the supernatural, developer Remedy invites it with open arms in their newest title. Through every scene, you find yourself deeper into the rabbit hole, but surprisingly, you never want to return home because in this world, you dominate. I'm Azara Lopez and this is Noisy Pixels review for Control. Hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. Control is anything but straightforward in its opening scenes. Following a supernatural incident where a path to a different dimension was opened, a boy named Dylan was kidnapped by a US government division known as the Bureau. His sister, Jessie, makes it her life goal to find where this place is and get her brother back. However, she's not alone. A voice, or spirit, found its way out of the portal that was opened and now lives within Jessie's mind. After many years, Jessie has finally found her way into the Bureau just as it entered lockdown after being overrun by what is known as the Hiss. Through a series of events, Jessie finds herself assuming the role as the director of the Bureau and lends a hand to stop the Hiss and find her brother. Agents who are wearing an HRA device aren't affected by the Hiss, but others aren't so lucky. Jessie will need to learn to fight against demonic-like enemies if she hopes to find her brother and make it out alive. To put it simply, this story is insane. The first two hours make absolutely no sense. You are pretty much along for the ride until you start piecing together just what the hell is going on here. However, after a while, nothing surprises you anymore as you assume the identity and mentality of Jesse and the other agents who have been exposed to the supernatural all their lives. The storytelling in Control can be described as watching Twin Peaks or The Twilight Zone. The character interactions and visual presentation combined with the supernatural items that allow you to travel to different dimensions force you to be as invested as you can be until the very end. Control is, at its core, a metroidvania. Players take on missions that lead them through different levels of the bureau, which then unlock other areas as you gain access to key cards that open up locked doors. The level design here is brilliant, and each room and environment will force you to stop and look around. This is a game that will pay off most to those who take their time with it. Reading documents, exploring every room, and talking to NPCs offers various rewards to those who put the time in. If anything, it also answers many questions that you are sure to have. Sadly, I felt that the map in the game did more to confuse me than to help me most of the time, given that it doesn't accurately show locked doors or different floors. But the game can be played while it's open, and the fast travel system is a godsend. Control isn't all about running errands, there is a lot of fighting that will take place. Upon arriving to the Bureau, Jessie finds herself wielding a service weapon after a series of events. The ammo is unlimited but has a cooldown timer to recharge, which means it's best to aim before firing. Luckily, this isn't Jessie's only means of hurting enemies. Throughout the game, Jessie will come into contact with objects of power, items that teach her a new ability. Each of these abilities can be used in combat. Interestingly, even with all the power, I never felt like Superman. I was always trying to balance my special abilities and gunfire because the enemies can be relentless if you are exposed waiting for your ammo and ability gauges to refill. There is an upgrade system that allows the players to use skill points gained through missions as well as modification items dropped by enemies. The game also offers side missions and while they don't need to be completed to complete the game, getting the true ending will require it. Issues with the game are found in its frame rate and lengthy load screens, which are most notable during the tougher sections of the game where you'll die a lot. However, these issues seem minuscule compared to the development achievements found in the game through its beautiful character designs and environments. 
Control stretches the imagination of reality and takes the player on an unexpected journey. The developers took a huge chance on their approach to storytelling and their ability to navigate players through new and unique systems. The gameplay here is thought-provoking and requires the full attention of players if they hope to get the answers that they seek. This unapologetic approach to game design and storytelling also finds its way into the game's puzzles, which tested my knowledge but were never unsolvable. Control presents an excellent balance of challenging gameplay and upgradable systems. I learned early on that even with all my powers, I could still be taken out by one of the weaker enemies if I wasn't careful. Those who take their time reading the materials and investing heavily into exploring this world will benefit most from it. By the end of the game, nothing surprised me anymore and I found myself settling into the role as the new director quite comfortably. Noisy Pixels giving Control an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching Noisy Pixels run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.